Hi guys, this is Anton and uh, I hated my CRM until I did this one thing. Let me show you real quick how I believe CRM today should work because there's one fundamental problem that all CRMs have and that's nobody wants to fill it out and I don't believe there should be. The best CRM is the one that you don't have to visit, you don't have to open and you don't have to fill out. So here in my companies, I'm running five different businesses and so CRM for me is very important. I go there to track all my projects, all the content, all the deals, all the progress of tasks. So I only open one app and everything is stored there and visible for me. And I also can communicate to that app without opening it up. So let me show you. We have Monday CRM set up and this is uh, just an example CRM with some deals, contacts, uh, properties, companies and dashboards. And so here I have it connected to Claude, okay? And I'm gonna use Claude as a way to communicate with CRM. So I'm gonna just tell it, hey, look, John Smith just called me. He's looking for a two bedroom apartment in Mani for about 350 or 450,000 euro. And that's his email. Um, and let's also say this is his uh, phone number, uh, 99775533. And add him to my contacts and create a, a new deal in Monday. It could be also could have been a voice message and uh, I could have just dictated that to Claude and I'm going to show it later. So here I send it. At this moment, Claude is going to use a thing called MCP. It's something that I give actions and uh, commands to this AI agent and he knows what to do with them. And uh, once he figures out the plan of action, what he needs done, he's performing those tasks. So for example, he's getting all the boards in my Monday to figure out which one I need to, he needs to fill out. He found a contacts board and he's trying to get the board columns from there. Uh, he got the board columns and uh, groups and he's creating a new item. So he created John Smith. Um, let's open Monday and see if he has created John Smith. So here in contacts, uh, here John Smith has appeared and it's a new lead and that's his email here. And he's supposed to add a phone number also. We'll see what we'll, if he'll do. Uh, also a beautiful thing about it is that he's going to try to do this action and if there's an error, he's going to correct himself and he's going to then do, try to do it again. And so he's filling out different, yeah, he added a phone number for Cyprus. Uh, yeah, it didn't work. He didn't add it in the right format, but close enough. Okay. So we can see that he created a lead then. Um, let's see deals he created. Um, let me set a new status to lead. Okay. And he goes ahead and starts filling out the things that he's looking for two bedroom. Um, yeah. So all the different information that we need to see about this contact. So the work is being done. Yeah. This is his minimum budget, 350 maximum budget, 450. This is a description. And so job is getting done while we're just sitting here or doing our thing that we are supposed to do with our business. And so, um, we see all the actions that uh, he's uh, performing. And so here in deals, uh, he got the deals board, active deals. So here is the summary. I have successfully completed the following actions on Monday. I uh, created a contact record for John Smith and I created a deal added to deals board in active deals, uh, active deals uh, here, deal tracker. He created in a wrong deal. So I'm going to in a wrong board. So I'm going to tell him, Hey, um, move that deal to in uh, CRM workspace, sorry, space. Okay. Deal tracker. Okay. He got the, now the right board. And so we do have another, so here's a deal tracker and he's going to add uh, John Smith here to our deals. Yeah, here it is. And so we got this deal now into our, uh, board and all the information should be filled in. And uh, so, yeah, this is how I like to deal with my CRM when I don't have to open it. Uh, my workers also don't love filling out the CRM. And so this is how we have it set up. Let me show you what it takes for you to have your CRM to be this smart. OK, through NA10, we created an MCP server. It means a way for AI agent to figure out what commands he can do to our software, in this case, our CRM, and what are the required parameters to pass to that, uh, to do that action. So here's all the things we've given it to, uh, to this server and uh, connected our Claude to the server. So he can get all boards, he can get a board information, get the columns in this board, get board groups and so on, create a new item, upload images if he wants. I'm gonna show you real quick now how it's uh, done also. And also we've given him a, a create event calendar and to send email. And so, uh, here, the next thing I can say, uh, Hey, uh, in my properties, uh, board, uh, find two bedroom 
apartments and send them to John in the email. He'll understand which John we're talking about. And so let's see what he's going to do about it. It's like having a personal CRM uh, assistant or a secretary who just does everything for me right away on the spot. And so, but of course, it's an AI doing it. So also, I think an interesting scenario is that if we keep keep our inventory of uh, properties, for example, in our CRM. So here we have all the all types of properties. And uh, let's say we want to add another property to it. And so on index, uh, for example, we will have a property. Um, let's say this one we want to add. RAM. So we copy the property ID here and then we tell it to our assistant that uh, Here's he's finishing up uh, drafting an email to John. Uh, so he searched the properties board, he found the properties, um, and then he sent an email to him. So sent an email with detailed uh, to John Smith, to bedroom within a, uh, or close to John's budget. You see, I didn't even tell him about the budget, but he just figured out himself. And so here he sent about two bedroom apartment in Zakaki in Germasoya and other two bedroom properties. Um, so here, let me show you guys. Uh, this is the vi this is the email that he sent to John Smith, and so he said, "Hey, dear John, I hope this email finds you well. Following our conversation about your interest uh, in the two-bedroom apartment in Mani with a budget of 350, I found several properties that might interest you. And so here is the information and the modern apartment in Zakaki, two-bedroom area. So I can say view property, and he's sending me the link to Index. Uh, so I, I I mean I think it's pretty great email." Um, I think not all the sales managers would even go ahead and write that much about it. So yeah, this is, uh, I think the task is done pretty well and uh, this is how my CRM assistant should work. So let's see about the data entry. So I want to add a property to my CRM. So I, I tell him, hey, um, there is a property on index, index CY with ID this, uh, please add it to my uh, properties board. So we go ahead and um, give this task. This agent is um, going to go see what uh, this page on index and try to fetch the data from there. He successfully fetched the data and got the information that it's a apartment, three bedroom apartment for 450,000. And now he's going ahead and trying to add this property to our CRM. And so let's see what's happening. So here it is, three bedroom apartment in uh, Limassol, Aya Sithanasios. And uh, he's going to try to do all types of uh, information about it. And so little by little, every column, he's going to be trying to fill it out. And then I have an interesting automation here set up that once index URL is filled in here, then another automation within Monday will go and fetch the images from index and will upload them to images folder. OK, so let's see what will happen here. OK, he created the address. And now he starts filling out the price is filled out automatically price per square meter is calculated the type the bedrooms bathrooms so again i haven't i i shouldn't even have to open the crm but i opened it and shown it to you just as an example um, but i could have just be on the go and uh, drive somewhere or do something and so here information is extracted uh, url on index is added here's all the information uh, about this property and uh, he's going to go and he's supposed to pull and add 10 photos to it I don't have to go copy paste anything. It's just going to happen automatically. Data entry should be done by AI today. And here's the photos are appearing. And uh, let's verify that this is um, this is our property. So it has this uh, bed bed in there, and it has this bathroom. And let's say um, let's see where it is. And so yeah, it has this bed and uh, this bathroom. So yeah, it's all correct and working properly. All the information filled in and. Uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't clicked a single button. I just tell him what to do. And uh, so my message to you today is simple is if you have a CRM, demand your CRM integrator or your CRM provider to have this functionality for on their end. It is not very complicated to do. If you have a more or less modern CRM with API, it is absolutely possible to do. Uh, but uh, of course, we use Monday in uh, our companies, and so we do have it set up. If you need help in setting it up, reach out to us. But uh, yeah, so let's see another scenario is I want to know as a business owner what, what is happening overall in the business. So I go here, I ask him, uh, tell me or give me a graph of all the deals in uh, our deal tracker uh, with 
statuses with with all the different statuses and values of the deals. So for example, I want to know how much, uh, what is the status of our deals? And I would like to know how much overall is in our pipeline as far as value of the deals. Um, so here, our AI assistant is going to this uh, uh, board. He already knows the board ID because he queried it before. And so he starts to figure out all the information about the deals. And I don't don't have to have to look into it. If there's an error, he corrects himself. I'd like to show you if there if it's possible, but um, he hasn't been doing much errors. Let's see here. Maybe there's some errors. No, it's all. Usually, when there's an error, he's like, "Okay, I see there's an error. I'm gonna correct my request," and he just auto heals. Heals. And so here we have all the different um, deals he got in a code. But don't worry, you you don't have to read the code. He's gonna finish writing the code, and he's only gonna give me the graphs because, to be honest, as a business owner, I have no idea what this means. Um, and so I, I just need my graphs. So it will take him a little bit of time, but of course it is still faster than, than anybody else. And I could have opened my CRM by now and went to that dashboard and um, looked at those statuses. But again, uh, I just want him to work a little bit or it, I don't know him or her or it, what do you, what do you call it? And there is a problem here, deal tracker analysis dashboard. Uh, try fixing it with Claude. Come on, guy. Don't be making those mistakes. You need to get it fixed up. I want to see my graph. Um, I'm already getting too impatient. You've already been writing this whole thing for, for like a minute. That's not good. So here's what I should see. Here's all my um, deals. Anyhow, so here, the guy's giving me a little report. Deal tracker. We have currently 10 deals, uh, total value of 1.2 million, uh, average deal win rate 20%, not bad. So we have pretty good amount of deals in proposal stage. And so here's deal by deal count. How much is where three deals here, one, one, one. And here's my guys who's, who's ha what is happening each deal, which stage, who's, who's involved in it. And so, yeah, pretty good summary for me. Thank you very much. It was very helpful. I'm glad I didn't have to open my CRM because I think the best CRM is the one that you don't have to open. Again, this is just a short demo, uh, quick and sweet. If you request, reach out and request to me this template, I can send it to you. You can do it yourself. It, it will take you an hour or two to do in NA10. All the links to the software is going to be in the description. Again, if you like our uh, content and our channel, subscribe, save. I run five different businesses and I'm going to be sharing how I implement AI in those real businesses. Those are not just AI uh, toys and uh, interesting things, but really helpful and practical things. Subscribe and like our videos and we hope that it's going to be helpful to you.